Chapter 6 Foreign Currency Transactions and How to Hedge Foreign Exchange Risk Know that there are a variety of exchange rate arrangements in use around the world. A majority of national currencies are allowed to fluctuate in value against other currencies over time. Some currencies are pegged in terms of another currency, often the US dollar. That is the case here in the UAE. US dollar is pegged at 3.67 dirhams. Know that the spot rate is the price at which a foreign currency can be purchased or sold today. Know that the forward rate is the price that can be locked in today at which foreign currency can be purchased or sold at a predetermined date in the future. Exchange rates can be stated as direct quotes, number of dollars per foreign currency unit, or indirect quotes, number of foreign currency units per dollar. A company can enter into a forward contract with its bank to fix the price at which it can buy or sell foreign currency at a specified future date. There is no upfront cost to enter into a forward contract. When it matures, the forward contract must be honored, with the company buying or selling foreign currency at the predetermined forward rate. A company can purchase a foreign currency option that gives it the right, but not the obligation, to buy or sell foreign currency at a specified future date at a predetermined price, the strike price. The company purchases the option by paying an option premium. Upon maturity, the company can choose to exercise the option and buy or sell currency at the strike price or allow the option to expire unexercised. 1. The option premium, fair value of the option, is a function of two components. 1. The intrinsic value and 2. The time value. The intrinsic value is the gain that can be realized by exercising the option immediately. That is the difference between the strike price and the spot rate. An option with a positive intrinsic value is said to be, in the money. Now time value relates to the fact that as time passes and the spot rate changes, the option might become more valuable. Know that export sales and import purchases that are denominated in a foreign currency create exposure to foreign exchange risk. An increase in the value of a foreign currency will result in a foreign exchange gain on a foreign currency receivable and a foreign exchange loss on a foreign currency payable. On the other hand, a decrease in the value of a foreign currency will result in a foreign exchange loss on a foreign currency receivable and a foreign exchange gain on a foreign currency payable. Foreign currency balances that a company has on the books must be revalued to their current domestic currency equivalent using current exchange rates whenever financial statements are prepared. Foreign exchange gains and losses on foreign currency balances are recognized in income in the period in which an exchange rate change occurs. Know that exposure to foreign exchange risk can be eliminated through hedging. Now, hedging involves establishing a price today at which a foreign currency receivable or payable in the future can be sold or purchased in the future. The two most popular instruments for hedging foreign exchange risk are foreign currency forward contracts and foreign currency options. Forward contracts and options are derivative financial instruments. Their value is derived from changes in foreign exchange rates. Derivative financial instruments are reported on the balance sheet at their fair value, as assets when fair value is positive and as liabilities when fair value is negative. Hedge accounting is appropriate if the derivative is a used to hedge an exposure to foreign exchange risk or b highly effective in offsetting changes in the fair value or cash flows related to the hedged item and c properly documented as a hedge. The fair value of a forward contract is determined by reference to changes in the forward rate over the life of the contract, discounted to present value.
The fair value of a foreign currency option is determined by reference to market price if traded on an exchange, or through use of a pricing formula if acquired in the over-the-counter market. Changes in the fair value of a derivative financial instrument are recognized as gains and losses in net income or are deferred on the balance sheet in accumulated other comprehensive income, stockholders' equity. Under hedge accounting, gains and losses on the hedging instrument are not reported in net income until the period in which gains and loss on the item being hedged are recognized. IFRS 9 and FASBASC 81010 and 81520 provides guidance for hedges of a recognized foreign currency denominated assets and liabilities b unrecognized foreign currency firm commitments and c forecasted foreign currency denominated transactions cash flow hedge accounting can be used for all three types of hedge Fair value hedge accounting can be used only for A and B. A under cash flow hedge accounting for foreign currency denominated assets and liabilities at each balance sheet date. 1. The hedged asset or liability is adjusted to fair value based on changes in the spot exchange rate, and a foreign exchange gain or loss is recognized in net income. 2. The derivative hedging instrument is adjusted to fair value, resulting in an asset or liability reported on the balance sheet, with the counterpart recognized as a change in accumulated other comprehensive income AOCI. 3. An amount equal to the foreign exchange gain or loss on the hedged asset or liability is then transferred from AOCI to net income. The net effect is to offset any gain or loss on the hedged asset or liability. 4. An additional amount is removed from AOCI and recognized in net income to reflect a. The current period's amortization of the original discount or premium on the forward contract, if a forward contract is the hedging instrument, or b. The change in the time value of the option, if an option is the hedging instrument. Under fair value hedge accounting for foreign currency denominated assets and liabilities, at each balance sheet date, the hedged asset or liability is adjusted to fair value based on changes in the spot exchange rate, and a foreign exchange gain or loss is recognized in net income. The derivative hedging instrument is adjusted to fair value, resulting in an asset or liability reported on the balance sheet, with the counterpart recognized as a gain or loss in net income. There is no entry to record a firm commitment or the derivative instrument used to hedge a firm commitment at the time the firm commitment is created, rather at each subsequent balance sheet date. The firm commitment is reported on the balance sheet as an asset or liability at fair value, and the change in the fair value of the firm commitment is recognized as a gain or loss in net income. A decision must be made whether to measure the fair value of the firm commitment through reference to a. Changes in the spot exchange rate or b. Changes in the forward rate. The derivative hedging instrument is adjusted to fair value resulting in an asset or liability reported on the balance sheet, with the counterpart recognized as a gain or loss in net income. Only cash flow hedge accounting may be used for hedges of forecasted foreign currency transactions. For hedge accounting to apply, the forecasted transaction must be probable, likely to occur. The accounting for a hedge of a forecasted transaction differs from the accounting for a hedge of a foreign currency firm commitment in two ways. One unlike the accounting for a firm commitment, there is no recognition of the forecasted transaction or gains and losses on the forecasted transaction. Two, the hedging instrument, forward contract or option, is reported at fair value but because there is no gain or loss on the forecasted transaction to offset against. Changes in the fair value of the hedging instrument are not reported as gains and losses in net income.